The Human and Environmental Development Agenda, HEDA, has charged Nigerians to join the government in combating corruption and return the country to the values of honesty and integrity. The charge was given during the 25th Anti-Corruption Situation Room, themed Assessing the Fight Against Corruption in Nigeria 2015-2020. The keynote speaker, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano, and the chairman, Heda Resource Center, Olan Waju Suraj, highlighted the significance of June 12 on Nigeria's democratic consolidation, focusing on the campaign against corruption. According to them, to fight corruption, Nigerians must fight the system that promotes corruption. They urged Nigerians to join government in combating the menace. They also applauded the government for recognizing June 12 and its achievements. And the government must convince them, not just the government, all those who believe in the corporate existence of Nigeria should endeavor to convince those who want to balkanize Nigeria to appreciate the advantages of a united country. We must constantly remind Nigeria about is that People have the right to make demands. Uh, in terms of pursuit of democracy, we're still very far uh, because you can't see any serious free and fair election happening at the local government level. That is the grassroots, that is the fundamentals, that is where we're expected to inculcate the spirit, understanding and translation of democracy into the citizens and imbibe it in governance. And Galaxy's Daniel Tanimo reports that the chairman of the event who doubles as executive secretary, Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, PACAC, Professor Aishak Sadiq Rada, and other speakers present advised the government to strengthen the institutions established to fight corruption in Nigeria. Democracy is always work in progress. If you look at what is happening in the United States, you know that. Democracy is not a final journey. It's something you work on. So we have made progress. June 12 is recognized. We have made mistakes. We are, allow, we are now learning our lessons. Let us learn more lessons and make our country better democratically. There are a lot of things that need to be done. Um, there is a clamor for a new constitution. We will continue to ask that there should be a sovereign national conference. We need to rediscuss the country Nigeria. We need to understand what the people want. We need to understand how people feel. We need to know how to actually fight corruption. Because this superstructure is what is also uh, affecting us from the fight against corruption that you know the country has been uh, pushing for. You can't put something on nothing. Two of our pursuit in democracy, we have not been able to do well. What we're practicing, somebody has rightly pointed out, is civilian you know, uh, rule. We are not yet... Uh, a democratic institution, I mean country, because the democratic institutions are not yet strong. The judiciary, the, the arm of government that actually makes laws, you know, they are, they, are not, they are not really doing what is done in democratic uh, nation. In terms of checks and balances, it's, it's com completely absent. And because of the absence of strong institutions, that's where we're having misgovernance, that's where we're having corruption. That's why the system is retarded. That's why we are not progressing as a nation. The issue of fighting corruption at subnational level, because that is where I am restricted to. But let me start with the subnational level. You see, uh, fighting corruption cannot be seen as national or that is the federal government uh, uh, fight alone. Because uh, we have 36 states and 774 local government areas of council. 